Thank you, Senator Capito. Senator Wyden. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Mr. McNamee, you played a key role in developing the legal underpinnings of a Trump energy bailout that was so flawed, every member of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission rejected it. I've been chairman of this committee, and I haven't really seen anything quite like that. And I think I know why. It would have benefited a handful of companies, most of them in the Northeast, while jacking up ratepayers costs billions of dollars. Now the president wants to put you on the commission that rejected the plan you wrote. Looks to me, and I want to get your response to this, this is not like having the fox guard the chicken coop. This is like putting the fox inside the chicken coop. So my question to you is, tell the committee why you should be trusted to do anything differently than you did earlier if you become commissioner. As to the issue, I think ultimately is whether I'd be an independent arbiter and be able to look at the facts and the law and make an independent choice, I have no doubt that I can do that and that it won't be influenced by politics. I understand the difference between my role as a lawyer when I worked on uh, the Secretary's proposal under six, Section 403 of the DOE Org Act and what the role of FERC is. Now, I also recognize that FERC rejected the, uh, the proposed remedy, but I also recognize that they unanimously agreed that it was an issue that needed to be looked into further. So um, I can't comment any specifically further about what the end result would that be, because there's so many facts. I think there's been hundreds of comments filed and thousands of pages. And I think that FERC has, uh, has a tradition of making decisions not based on whether they're Republican or Democrat, though they may be nominated as such, but making it based on working together and trying to figure out what, what's the right thing to do. And my pledge to you is that I will work in that fashion. So you wrote this plan. Government lawyers deal with policy all the time. I believe you ought to recuse yourself if you are chosen for this position on matters that deal with the specifics of what got such a resoundingly negative response earlier. I mean, the combination of helping a handful of companies while jacking up rates billions of dollars, that's pretty bad stuff. So I'm going to want to talk to you if you get confirmed, but I believe you ought to recuse yourself given your role in the initial uh, proposal. Now, let me turn to...